Come on, Mrs. Joseph. I was at your house all the time. Remember, you caught us wearing your bras so we could practice on clasping them? Hello? Hello? What? You have no idea what it's like taking bras off. You had it so easy growing up gay. The ceremony's about to start, and O'Sullivan's about to come home and catch us. It seems the reform proposal is as dead as my marriage. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I was so desperate for us to have one last cool case together that I forced you into this. No, Jake. The truth is, I enjoyed it. I had fun being Maxwell Maxwell. Yes, I knew it was a good idea. And I hate myself for it. Damn it, I interjected too soon. It makes me scared that I'm not ready to retire, no matter how much I want to, for Kevin's sake. I mean, clearly, there's a part of me that still wants to work cases. What if I'm making a wrong choice? It's completely understandable that you would feel that way. You've devoted your whole life to this. It's who you are, but you're also Kevin's husband. What would you do? <laughs> I'm not sure. But I know that when things are hard, I talk them through with Amy. And just being with her, looking into her eyes, everything that seemed so complicated becomes simple. And then I just know. What's that? It's O'Sullivan. He's coming home. NYPD, step away from that door. Wait, that voice? Neighbors reported seeing two men enter from an unmarked van, then heard yelling. Uh, there's been a misunderstanding, officer. You are under arrest. Punk. You Jags are so screwed. I love your hat. Kevin, I'm sorry. I will never forgive myself for working today. I want you to know that this will be my last assignment for the NYPD. I'm retiring. Well, that seems like an extreme reaction. No, I want this for us. That's not for us. I never wanted you to give up your career. Putting our relationship first doesn't mean you can't have anything else in your life. It just means prioritizing me over stupid little stuff. Like returning lost mittens to dumb kids. No, that actually sounds quite rewarding. Really? This reform program is not a little thing. It could fundamentally change the police. I just wish you had told me so I could have helped from the start. I'm so sorry. Apology accepted. Now, let's get that laptop to one police plaza. No, 